With everything in CSGO getting so expensive, today I want to talk about the best cheap options to start investing in the game today, trying to keep everything around or under $10 a pop while still maintaining great returns. This also is going to include some cases and just overall what you should look for in that department and then just some other miscellaneous items. So as always, if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Helping me get to 50k would be greatly appreciated, it is just the click of a button. And just before we we get into it, check out how to get a free $5 trading with the sponsor Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CSGO trading site where you can find great prices to trade your skins at, and just to prove it, here's me trading my USPS Monster Mashup for a stat track AK cartel, and it's practically a break even trade. You could even make some money, and here's how. Skins Monkey is offering up to a $5 bonus if you sign up through that link in the description today, or just enter code SUKA in the top right when you log into the site. And even if you don't want to trade, Skins Monkey also has constant giveaways going on under the freebies tab, so be sure to check them out and enter for free. Link at the top of the description. But for now, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first off, I want to talk about cases. The vast majority of them have gone completely sideways for the past month. No real gains, not really any action, but I want to talk about the best cases you should be looking at right now for profit, all of them being under $10 so anyone can really invest. And I still think these cases under a dollar, actually really under 50 cents a pop, are really the dimes to look at. I want to start by talking about the revolver case. It's about 40 cents on the Steam market, had about 428000 unbox in the month of July and honestly I don't think it's a really incredible standout case. Pretty much every item in it sucks except the AK point disarray and the knives which I assume are the only reason people open it. It has the OG knife skins and is also the cheapest case with the OG knife skins so there is actually a decent reason to unbox it but the thing about these cheap cases is, even though it's not an incredible case to unbox, like it doesn't really have any good skins in it, it's still forexed in price since the beginning of the year, which is just absolutely insane. And you just aren't going to see gains like this in something like a glove case, a breakout case, obviously any of like the $50 cases like a Bravo case, or probably even the operation cases like Riptide or Broken Fang at this point. And that's not to say they're bad cases, people clearly like them to get them to the point where they're at now, but these very cheap cases below like the 50 cent mark are definitely what I'd personally recommend looking at if you want to get into case investing. Obviously, make sure they're not active drops in the game, or if they are, you'd better hope they get removed from the active drop pool. But just judging by the past and judging how these things have gone up so quickly in price with even more case investors nowadays and people just willing to pay more for cases in general, I think cheap cases have way more potential than the expensive ones. Specifically, I like the ones under a dollar a lot more. But next up, I want to talk about just other miscellaneous things that have turned out to be great investments in CS, starting by taking a look at the cheaper agent skins. Now, I've talked about these a lot, but I want to cover why exactly I think they're a safer investment. Obviously, they're pretty cheap, at least when they're released. At this point, they've already had a lot of gains, so holding off might be a better plan, but I'll get into that in a bit. The thing about agent skins is that there's really not a lot of them on the market, and it seems like once people get them, they just want to hold on to them until the next operation. So the only time we see a significant prolonged dip in price is when a new operation gets released, and I'm sure it'll be the same thing next time. As I always say, with people so focused on just buying cases to make guaranteed profit during operations, it should keep all the agent skin supply low, which leads to long-term easy profit since there's obviously not a lot of people selling Selling these things either. I mean, it's agents. Nobody really buys them to flip them, or at least did in the past. So it leads to really low supply. Everybody's spending all their stars in the operation shop on cases and leads to low supply in the agents, which means they go up long term. The thing about these agent skins, though, and why I say to hold off and not exactly buy right now, but just keep your eye on them, is because when a new operation does come around, that's pretty much the only time we see a significant prolonged dip in them. It is a massive dip. Obviously, agent skins don't really come around too often, so when they do, people want to sell their old ones, buy into the new ones, and just, I mean, it's not even necessarily for money, just because I assume people get bored of the old agent skins, but that dip is going to I mean, presumably be very profitable when Riptide dropped and the agent skins dropped in price then. They continued all the way up in price to the point they're at now. So as I say, when everything else dips in the CS market, presumably when we see the new operation, agent skins are no exception and they're incredibly cheap and seem to be incredibly profitable. 
But yeah, other than that, I honestly think waiting until the next operation is really the main move unless you're in cases. It's just the best way to profit as you think it's likely we'll see an operation before the end of the year just based on how well CS is doing player wise and it's going to give us a ton more options to start investing in. Operation cases have proven to do great, some operation stickers have turned out to be great investments and of course agent skins have been doing great as well. They've had great runs already which is why I'm kind of skeptical to buy now. Personally, I would hold off to the next operation where we'll once again presumably see that dip in all items and just have a lot more options to buy into since everything is really getting so expensive now and been on such a great price run for about a year at this point. So besides all that, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. So as always, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and of course, check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.